the old trophy is going back to Ibrox for the first time in 13 years. 13 long years for the Rangers supporters. Inside on to Alex Lowry, the dream starts for Alex Lowry, the 18-year-old, the Scottish under-19 international, who's been starting in the Lowland League, takes centre stage, or as a substitute and drills home his first Rangers goal. Rangers will hope it's first of many. And it was perfectly positioned low into the corner. Sterling Albion's resistance is broken, just guided that away. It's a really neat finish, and Rangers lead. A short run off the dispatch. It was all about the power from James Tavernier. A second Scottish Cup goal for him. A second Scottish Cup goal of the evening for Rangers. We move two ahead of Sterling Albion. Well, young blood coming on for Rangers. As John Lundstrom plays it inside, Eaton's away. This is three. Denied in the first half, not denied in the second. Again, simple from Rangers. Lowry, the break of the ball onto Lundstrom. And a short little pass in a way. And the central defenders were on the ground. Okay, now back on to Sakala's great footwork. This could be four. But could have played it through. Sakala set himself beautifully. And on his Scottish Cup debut, Fashion Sakala nets the goal for Rangers that takes him to four. Well, for his work rate, for his effort, he's been the fulcrum many a time. Great touch to set up the finish. Second chance to send this one in on top of the added defence. Same man, different outcome. Philip Melander on his return from injury gives Rangers the lead and they start as they mean to go on. Any potential nerves wiped out by Melander's header. And Scott Wright made life difficult for Fleming on the added goal line. Right. Well taken by Ruth. Raps has got around it. Supremely into the bottom corner, and Rangers have to. Kamara's first Rangers goal for a couple of months, and they're absolutely coasting towards the quarterfinals at Galabank. Greg Fleming with absolutely no chance in the adding goal. It's been coming for Rangers. Kamara Ruth will be pleased he was on the end of it. Passing anyway, as Johnston's. Dribbling, can't get past the little shots. Now Sakala forward and into the back of the net. He didn't mean it. He'll celebrate like he did. And Rangers are surely out of sight now. Half an hour gone. Three goals to the good. And Sakala enjoys another Rangers goal. One glance at the goal, he's looking across the box. It's still magnificent to look at into the top corner. So the first corner kick of the match. Tavernier plays it in. Philip Hollander's header. Well, it was cleared off the line, but Connor Coulson was following up. And he rams the ball into the back of the net. And Rangers are on their way. Hollander denied but not his central defensive partner. Was that over the line? Looks like it might have struck the crossbar as Ashcroft tried to get it clear. But when it popped out, it was rammed back in by Goldson. James Tavernier scored with his penalty on Thursday night against Red Star Belgrade. Well, it's the opposite top corner this time. It's another blistering finish from the Rangers captain. No goalkeeper was stopping that one. And another ridiculous season of goal scoring from the Rangers skipper continues. How do you stop that? Well, you just don't. 12 goals for the season.
This is Lowry. Four against three for Rangers here. And it's Fashion Sakala who will seal Rangers' place in the Scottish Cup semi-finals. It's done and dusted at Dens. And it was always really a matter of when rather than if Rangers would score a third goal. They have been banging on the door once or twice and it's the youngster Lowry off the bench who sets up Fashion Sakala to drill that away from Sharp and remove any doubts as if there were any about the outcome. Control now. They have been in control, but they're finding that edge in front of goal now. 